happening at a black church in Charleston by a man who supposedly wanted to kill people because of their race put hate in the spotlight. KMTV has uncovered it cuts far deeper than just South Carolina. The Southern Poverty Law Center cloaks itself as dedicated to fighting bigotry. Based in Montgomery, Alabama, the activist group's claim to fame is tracking and exposing activities of hate groups. A quick peruse of its website, and it's easy to find what it calls a hate map. I think, unfortunately, in every part of this country, uh, there are certain groups who are, you know, affiliated with hate crime groups. That's just a fact of life. It's a map of every state in the country and the number of groups that have beliefs or practices that attack or malign an entire class of people. I clicked on Nebraska and uncovered there are seven here, some with menacing names, including Aryan Terror Brigade, labeled a racist skinhead group, National Socialist German Workers Party, identified as a neo-Nazi group out of Lincoln, and one in Omaha, Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ, a purported black separatist group. I took these findings to the special agent in charge of the FBI in Omaha, Thomas Metz. The groups like that, the FBI is usually aware of. We kind of have a heightened sense of awareness. Metz says those so-called hate groups can range in size from as few as two to as many as 30 members. The SPLC says their activities can include marches, rallies, speeches, even criminal acts. Just the names themselves, do, do they seem to bring out a certain fear in people, do you think? Oh, I believe so. Probably the, uh, a vast uh, portion of the population I do. In light of the racial attack on people praying at the AME Church in South Carolina, Special Agent Metz says the FBI has reached out to local church organizations here in Omaha that had concerns about their own houses of worship. Yeah, you, the FBI has a program called the Crest Program, and oftentimes what we will do, we'll go into various churches, often located in the uh, minority communities, and we talk about a variety of topics, one of them being the civil rights program, which further leads to uh, education. And the top FBI guy says it can be a fine line, but it's the job of police at all levels to coordinate and determine the difference between First Amendment free speech rights or rhetoric and real threats to our community. The executive director of the Anti-Defamation League in Omaha told me today it is familiar with these groups in Nebraska, but is not aware of any imminent threat. Still, she said the more people who are aware of the extremist presence, the better.